Hey, so I just wanted to jump on and just briefly talk about my experience having struggled with depression in the past, how I overcame that, and what I currently do now to help other people really get into the shape of their life physically, but also everything I do in terms of the holistic approach I take when it comes to health and fitness is obviously all kind of interlinked, right? So it's the ripple effect of focusing on your mental and emotional health first and the physique kind of follows and that's part of my philosophy. So basically, long story short, when I was around about 23, I started struggling with depression and anxiety. I won't go too much into the weeds, uh, but ultimately it was, it was a struggle for about 18 months. I was on the verge of taking uh, antidepressants and thankfully I never, that's not to say some people don't need antidepressants, but I definitely didn't need them. Um, and I managed to overcome that simply by, I was always consistent with exercise. I, I was a personal trainer for about 13, 14 years. And now, now I'm an online transformation coach, which I'll talk a bit more about briefly. Um, but it was consistent exercise. Now we all know exercise is the number one natural antidepressant. Doesn't have to necessarily be lifting weights every day. Um, it can be going on a walk with a friend or just going outside. I'm walking in the mornings, doesn't have to be anything groundbreaking. Um, obviously I leveled up my nutrition as well. I didn't realize this at the time, but I was actually, I was eating like, I was eating like shit, to be honest. I was in good shape, but I was eating like shit. Um, so ultimately I still felt terrible on the inside. Uh, I cut out dairy and I just started eating more whole foods, more vegetables uh, and more good quality animal sources and whatnot. Um, and then the other big one, the most important one was community. So I was thankful enough to meet friends like Aaron through this period. Actually, I met Aaron just after, uh, but my group of friends that I met through this period, I didn't want to talk about it because even around about like, you know, however long, this is, this is about 12 years ago, I'm 34 now. So I didn't really want to talk about it to many people. There was still a bigger stigma. There was a, like, it was a bit different back then. No one really talked about it. So I kept it all in the wraps. I uh, didn't tell any of my friends at the time, but without realizing it, just them being who they were, really, really helped me. So having that tribe of people that I'm, I happen to meet during that period who are still my closest friends now uh, to this day, they're my circle, my closest friends, um, was, was game changing. But more importantly, speaking to my mum and sister, I'm very close to my mum and sister, and just telling them about the thoughts I was getting, what I was struggling with um, was, was huge for me. And without that support network and actually talking about it, that's the most important thing is just talking about it. Um, I can't stress that enough. Uh, so anyway, what I do now is I help people unlock their true potential by really transforming their mindset and their physique. So I help people not just with the training, then, but now I do it online. I've got clients all over the world. I help people with training programming, but also nutrition, right? Um, and lifestyle stuff being, you know, optimizing sleep, stress management, and then obviously mindset as well, right? So that's basically what I do now. And that's kind of my story in a nutshell. So if there's any advice I've got for anyone, it's make sure you speak to someone about it um, and do your best to just do some form of exercise, even if it's just going for a walk every day. Uh, I can't stress that enough. I'm not an expert in this field. I just wanted to share my story. Thanks for listening.